A few weeks ago, OpenAI introduced seven new exciting features for ChatGPT. All of these features are aimed at improving user experience and making the chatbot more powerful and versatile. If you think ChatGPT was fun to use before, then brace yourself because these features takes things to a whole new level. Today, I'm going to walk you through all the seven new features of ChatGPT and how they function. But before that, hello and welcome to the AI Trend, your go-to destination for all things AI. We are dedicated to bringing you the latest developments, breakthroughs, and releases in artificial intelligence technology. Without further delay, let's get started. Now, the first feature I'm going to talk about is prompt examples. These are simple prompts designed to lead you into engaging conversations with ChatGPT. They are based on trending topics in areas that users often request. It's somewhat similar to Google's search suggestions. For instance, you can use them to have ChatGPT write a poem, tell a joke, or even summarize an article. These prompt examples cover several domains like education, entertainment, business, and science. Basically, OpenAI designed these prompts to give users an idea of how to ask their own questions. Most people find it a bit difficult to write very good prompts to get the results they desire, especially when they want the chatbot to respond in a certain way. The prompt example feature makes it a whole lot easier for newbies to get a hang of things without asking for help from anyone. The next feature I want to talk about is suggested replies. This feature offers users dynamic and relevant response options based on previous messages, making conversations with ChatGPT more exciting. And the interesting thing here is that these suggested replies are not just for feedback alone. They also allow you to change the conversation's tone or even test ChatGPT's reasoning with complex replies. Moving on, the third feature I want us to look at is GPT-4 as the default model. OpenAI has finally made GPT-4 the default model for ChatGPT. However, it is only available to ChatGPT Plus users. As a Plus user, when you start a new chat, the system will recall the model that you used in previous chats, so you won't automatically switch back to GPT-5. Not just that, the message allowance for Plus users has been increased from 25 messages to 50 messages every 3 hours. This allows you to have a longer and more detailed conversation with the chatbot. Though the initial 25 messages seem much, it was quite limiting, especially when you need to ask a lot of follow-up questions to your original question. However, increasing the message limit to 50 allows for more flexibility. Next up, we have some updates about the code interpreter. Now, ChatGPT Code Interpreter is not actually a new feature. You've probably heard of it before or even used it. Recently though, OpenAI made some new enhancements to it. One of the major updates is the ability to upload up to 10 files to ChatGPT. So if you have data or documents that you want to analyze, instead of having to go through the trouble of doing it manually, you can instruct ChatGPT to sort, filter, analyze, and even generate summaries based on that data. Overall, Code Interpreter makes ChatGPT a handy tool for tasks like marketing and data analysis. It can also be a way to learn or refine coding skills by seeking assistance or feedback from ChatGPT. The fifth new update I want us to look at is the Enhanced Login Experience. This feature boosts security while also making the login process more convenient. One thing I find really interesting about these new updates is the extended login duration. Instead of having to log in every week or two, or in some cases, every time you want to use ChatGPT, you can now remain logged in for up to 30 days unless you decide to log out or maybe clear your browsing data. Before logging in, you can actually see a sneak peek of the chatbot. You'll see a simple conversation and get a look at the chatbot's features. After signing in, you can have access to everything that was displayed in the login preview. This just shows how much OpenAI is committed to enhancing user experience. The next feature we're going to take a look at is Keyboard Shortcuts. This new feature allows you to quickly perform common actions using only your keyboard. 
These shortcuts boost your productivity when using ChatGPT. For instance, you can simply use Ctrl, Shift, and C to copy a block from ChatGPT when you need to save or share the generated code. Another one I recommend is using Control and Slash, which brings up the list of shortcuts during a conversation, allowing you to check or adjust the ones you previously set. The last feature I'm going to talk about today is custom instructions. If you use ChatGPT a lot, then you know that most times you have to keep repeating the same details of what you want each time you send a follow-up message to the chatbot. However, with custom instructions, you don't have to do that anymore. Now, you only need to list out specific details once and ChatGPT will maintain that throughout the entire conversation. For instance, if you're a teacher crafting a lesson plan, you no longer have to repeat that you're teaching third grade science. And if you're a developer and you want ChatGPT to write your code in another language other than Python, you can simply say it once and ChatGPT will maintain that. This makes it easier to have a smooth conversation with a chatbot without having to repeat yourself over and over again. Now, you are probably aware that ChatGPT is not the only AI-powered chatbot on the market. There are several other competitors with different features and functionalities. For instance, there is Google Bard, and we also have Claude AI, a chatbot released by Anthropics. Both these chatbots are incredibly powerful. But the thing is that ChatGPT has some advantages that make it more advanced than any other chatbot out there. First off, it is powered by GPT-4, OpenAI's recent iteration. GPT-4 is currently the most advanced AI model on the planet. Though there have been talks about creating AI models more advanced than GPT-4, no one has actually come up with such an AI model yet. Another thing about ChatGPT that makes it stand out is how easy it is to use ChatGPT features like Code Interpreter and plugins. Most chatbots out there have no option of adding plugins to carry out specific tasks. At the moment, it is only ChatGPT that allows you to install plugins to allow the chatbot to perform certain tasks it ordinarily wouldn't be able to do. And now, these new features are helping the chatbot to stand out even more. To be honest, OpenAI did a really good job because ChatGPT's interface is way more intuitive and user-friendly compared to other chatbots on the internet. Now, some of the features I mentioned are only available to ChatGPT Plus users. So, if you're a regular user and you want to get that full ChatGPT experience, then you should sign up for the premium subscription. It's totally worth it because you have access to all of these features. Now, let me ask one question. Which of these new features is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on the recent developments in the world of AI.